Here it is, our top products of 2024. These things have changed a lot of things in our operation, um, and we'll, we'll break it down for you as we go through each, uh, each item, product, or tool. So stick around to the end so you can get all the full information and see how it can benefit your business. Folks are probably gonna ask, why are we doing this so early? It's October, it's barely beginning of October. We got two months left, three months still. Well, and we're just so excited because uh, yeah, we're just so excited because these ones we have these are all kind of recent. I would say in the past I, what three four months. I, I don't think game changers is the word. They eliminate headaches. Yes, but I think for well for us they eliminate headaches. But I think for for the average detailer, oh, it's gonna it, it could make a big boost in productivity let's roll so let's roll let's all get right. into the first one no particular order go ahead Sal. you you hey. we, we got we got our section oh, here so roll. we're gonna pick let's them out roll, and baby. talk about them so sal's gonna start off with what you got i got the clean korea of course clean korea makes the list again with this hd glass towel dual sided man you talk about saving time what i wish i would have done is save this towel only for the windshield. Because all the other, other, other windows are, are simple yeah. if your technique is right, but that windshield is tricky. But this one right here, one swipe finishing towel, boom. Glass is no longer a problem. Summertime, nothing. Yeah, that's, I, I can't talk too much about the towel because I've only used it a couple times. And when I have used it, I was very impressed. Sal generally holds down the windows. That's his thing. He's, you know, I, I can do the windows, but I have more confidence with Sal finishing out the windows. And, and we've tried a lot of stuff, but we even tried the little, the, the little reach yeah, tools. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. tried, we tried pretty much this one everything. It was also was, was a bonus for this one. Uh, it's great for finishing on the uh, piano blacks when you're, when you're done on the windows. Oh. This right here. Because if you're only using it for, for yeah. the windshield, you still got four more sides yeah. and it's dual sided. So you could do one for the scrubbing and one for the finishing. Yeah, it definitely has capabilities of finishing, which is probably the hardest thing to find in a towel is a finishing capability. Bam. And uh, shout out to Scott, detail division. Yeah, shout out to Clint, because Clint, you're out there doing- Holding it down. Clint is unmatched. And now, now you got a buzzword on the scene when they say, Korean microfiber, buzz phrase. Oh, it's Korean microfiber. And trust me, Clint is just in a league of its own. There's nothing as consistent. There's nothing as quality controlled. And there's nothing as, as resilient. And uh, I would say um, just construction alone, build and longevity. Like that, that's something that's unsurpassed. Longevity, I yeah. think. It's not even, it's not, it's not even a, they're nowhere in the same conversation. Quality, quality. That's all I got to say. That, that's what you pay for is that extra quality. So Clean Korea, you've done it again. One of the top of 2024, the Clean Korea HD glass towel. Next on the list. And this one right here surprised me. This one really, this one, uh, this one. We had to tackle a big job about a week and a half ago, and uh, I had gone over to PNS and we were talking, and uh, you know they everybody kept talking about this one product, this one product, this one product. And I've been hearing some people talk about it. And, you know, Jamie Born Detailers, J and G Auto Recon out in Salt Lake City. Shout out to Jamie. Jamie was even impressed with it. And Jamie, if Jamie says he likes something. Then we know more than likely we're gonna like it because our style of, of, of not even of work, but of efficiency and, and just getting the job done is close to ours. Jamie don't mess around. Yes. You guys don't know. Yes. <laughs> so Jamie wants the job done. He wants it done right. He's he's one of those detailers where where you've outperformed every product out there and every tool out there where the small things now make the biggest difference because uh, 
you're able to capitalize on that on that small improvement that's on the product or tool. You know what I'm saying? So it's no longer – you're not looking for things to make a big difference because your technique and everything is already on point. But if there's something that gives you a little edge or finishes a job a little quicker, now we're talking huge hey, time But savings. not only that, that, that man has it has his shop, right? And he has two folks dedicated – to polishing. Yes. So I think they're going to yeah. figure out all the ins and outs of what works best for them. So. Yeah. And when we're talking about sanding, polishing, touch up, different, you know, different types of paints, because because Jamie does, uh, they do resprays there too. So, you know, if he has fresh paint opposed to a paint that's, uh, you know, older factory paint, obviously there's a lot of variances there. But this one product, I was kind of skeptical about because I was never a fan of PNS polishes to begin with. I never the Playmaker was okay, but uh, they do have some some pretty innovative ones when you when you talk about like they have their headlight restoration compound that's really good. But these are more specialty ones, and then even the ballistic. The ballistics, the <laughs> yeah. ballistics, a bad boy. Yes. So, th- but as far as like every those are those are circumstance. Yeah type of polishes you know like for gel coats we do we, we don't put ballistic on paint i don't think i've ever put it on on car paint but you know gel coats just really hammered shit the ballistic hits it but the headlight restoration that's for headlights all this stuff in between i was never really happy or never really saw too much uh i wasn't impressed with let's just say that uh, what we got what is, what is it so until this one came along the Rehab Correction Cream by PNS. Man, this stuff, uh, it's an adaptive compound, which means it's going to be pad reliant. So based off of how you're using, you know, the, how you want to use a polish, it's going to react based off of the surface, the substrate you're working on. Also, the the pad that you're using in conjunction with the, the correction cream itself. It has a, a wide range of versatility. This thing cuts away 2,000 sanding marks, 2,500, 3,000 sanding marks. Obviously, you know, your sanding technique has to be good. For the most part, we haven't had any issues with this. We had something that we traditionally, we were working on a fiberglass trailer, and this thing was beat up. It was sunburned. It was oxidized. It had vinyl residue that needed removal. We had to basically match the 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 variances and really polish out and refine to get an even look throughout this thing yellow fine finishing pad it was a one-shot deal pretty much we did go over it to put some protection but that was more of in a wax application but as far as getting the correction getting it down this did the job it was it was strong enough to cut through all the all the scratches and the things that needed Yo. to come out that's all great, but also the no dusting. Yes. This thing. No yes. dusting, man. So you guys having problems with dusting, that's pretty much everyone's problem. With compounds, it's just... Man, it's this thing, nightmare. none. Yeah. None. So yeah. You, have to, you don't have to worry about that stuff flying all over, getting all over you. Yeah, and then the cleanup afterwards. Yeah. Sometimes you got to wash the car after, or, you know, in our case, it would have been a trailer, which I didn't want to do. So this stuff here, and it has a pleasant smell. And it has a very long working time because of the diminishing abrasives. It's body shop safe. It's smooth residue removal. That was that was really easy for use with random orbital gear driven or rotary. We haven't used it with rotary yet, but I'm excited to use it with the rotary because I think it's going to perform pretty well. Effective with a wide range of pads, both foam and wool. So How much is that stuff? Price wise? Yeah. I don't remember. Don't remember, but I'd probably say it's probably about 40 bucks, somewhere in that $40 range. And it goes a long way. You don't need a ton. And I think it's coming out in a smaller bottle as well. But when it comes to compounds, guys, this will be our new reach. So I don't think we're really going to use it for one step so much. I think this is going to leave. But it can get down on one step. Yes, it can get down on one step. But depending on the pad you're using this one's probably going to have a show a little bit more of that uh of that haze so if you don't mind following up with the quick a quick hit afterwards you know even on your one steps this may be the one to go to because this thing will cut out real nice so that's another one so pns you made the cut with the rehab for 2024 good stuff number three 
Man, we said we're never gonna do a video about soaps again. This is a little different. All of Coach Kimmy's soaps, so here this is Active Foam. They got Gentle Foam, Active Foam, Super Foam. They all have their, 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 uh, they all have their place depending on what you need it for, from the vehicle. Uh, this right here, Active Foam. Man, we use Active Foam on our maintenance. You talk about, uh, and our, see all, all our maintenance is ceramic coated. We maintain them bi-weekly, monthly, so they don't get, they don't get banged up. But this Active Foam, no scrubbing. Yeah. We ain't with the scrubbing on our maintenance. We're yeah. in and out, and this saves us time. And man, spray yeah. this on with the IK. Yeah, we just we go on with the IK. We don't even pre rinse. We just go on straight with the IK. Let it sit for a little bit. Hit those rims. Let that all dwell, and then we just go in and rinse off, and then we dry, and then we put our finisher on, and we're done. This soap here. It's a higher pH soap, but it's not to the point where it's going to do heavy damage. Obviously, you want to do any kind of alkaline cleaning, you know, out of direct sunlight, on a cool surface, all that good stuff. Then you also want to be aware of your dilution ratio and the dwell time, especially on like the black trims, stuff like that, because it can cause discoloration and damage. So for the most part, active foam has outperformed some of these dedicated touchless systems. And Active Foam is not promoted and it's not advertised as a touchless system. I think that's the best way to go. Don't advertise no, it. No, no, because your expectations are always gonna be over, you know, they're gonna be they're gonna be exceeded. Like our expectations were exceeded with this. Yeah. He's talking about the dilution rate. Talk about the dilution rate of how much you need. Oh yeah. You don't need much, right? Yeah, we put four gallons into or sorry we put four ounces into two and a half gallons so or anywhere between three to four ounces depending on the dilution that i'm looking for into you know the two and a half gallon um, ik foamer the battery one that thing right there that will give us enough for about what five what? six cars five cars mm -hmm. maybe four s four about four suvs and about five to six sedans with that. So you want to talk about stretching the amount of product you're using. It's a good ratio. For all you guys that got them fleets, super foam. Oh yeah, super oh, foam is the, the next one up. We're just we're just showing active foam because we didn't have to want to pull yeah. out all of them. All Coast Kimmy soaps. Yes, all of their soaps perform ridiculously well. The Nano Magic as well. We've used the, the Rejuvenation uh, wash one. There's but they're soaps, they're just, they're ridiculous. They're on another level. And when we do have a rough car, we will throw this in our foam cannon, shoot it on the foam cannon and scrub with it. And the vehicles that are, you know, maybe it's seen a rough, you know, a rough road trip or something that we would normally have to wash the car twice. With confidence, the active foam will knock it out of the park on the first shot. So for all of those stubborn cars that you have, or if you guys feel like you're washing a car and even at the end, you start to see that hazing or you just know it's not as clean as it could be, it could simply be you're not using a soap with enough alkaline in it. Um, it's not always the pre-wash. Sometimes the pre-wash doesn't, just doesn't do the trick. Um, and you know sometimes rinseless washes don't get all that film off that you need. Rinseless washes have their place, but... When, when, when you're pulling out active foam, that's a whole nother level of cleaning. And it's not the everyday cleaning we're talking about. We're using it as a touchless process. We're not using it with, you know, so if it's strong enough to be used as a touchless process, you know for sure it's good, good if you're doing a contact wash. They all smell marvelous too. Yes. It's really nice smelling yes. this when you're working. Shout out to Casey putting us on game, man. Yeah. Saved us a whole lot of time and headache. Thanks, Casey. Yes. All right, next on the list. <laughs> All right, some people probably, we might, maybe we're late to the yeah, game on was, this. Let, let's hold off on this oh, one. All right, all right. Let's go into this and let's, uh, and let's tell them why. All right. This is the Old Faithful PNS Paint Gloss. You might be wondering why is PNS Paint Gloss on this list? That's been around forever. It's yeah we get it it's it, it it's cool you it's just a you know it's a it's a it's a detailer to us 
it's outperformed pretty much every quick detailer that we've tried. Paint gloss provides a little bit of protection. It's not gonna have what a sealant is gonna have in it, but it's going to have something. So if you're doing maintenance washes on vehicles, this is a perfect one. Even as a topper, this is perfect. The reason this has outperformed everybody is because of the ease of application and its range. You can put it on a hot surface, a cold surface. You can put it on a humid vehicle. You can put it on a vehicle that's still semi-wet and you're not going to have hazing and streaking afterwards. Finish with your glass too. No yes. problem on that. Piano blacks on the interiors. If a car is going to a car show and right before the show lights come on, the worst thing is to be under those lights and start to see streaking appear. And then you got to go all the way around the vehicle and make sure that every inch of it doesn't have a streak anywhere. This here is always the closer for, for those. Even if I'm using Defender, even if I'm using Bead Maker, if I'm using something to put a sealant on underneath, I'm still going through with this on top just to make sure that everything is, is just clean. Just to ensure the clarity of the surface that there's no streaks or imperfections or uneven areas or high spots in the, on the paint. This is, this is one of those things where we include in the, in the client's DIY package that, we, re, that yes. we recommend because it's so easy to use, anybody can use it. Because we know they're not gonna mess anything up using it and we know that it can be used on an array of different surfaces. So we usually give them express, we usually give them this, and then we usually give them a towel for each. Mm -hmm. That's usually what we give them. When, because of exactly what we said. It's easy to use. You can apply it to any surface pretty much except for fabrics. Uh, you can clean glass with it. It encapsulates. And it's going to give you a little bit of protection. And it cleans up easy. So that's something that um, I think every detailer should have. And I didn't realize. We slept on this one for the longest time. And I was using bead maker for a long time. I was like, well, why do I need this paint gloss? I don't need this paint gloss for anything. But it's just, it's probably door jams. It's our most, this right here is like a utility player. Like when you have those utility players on football teams. That's Cordell Stewart. No, yeah, yeah kind of <laughs> better than Cordell Stewart. Uh, this one is when you have a, a utility player is a player that can play pretty much any position on the field. So they could return punts. They could play wing back if they need to. They could play receiver. If you need them to go, go in for safety or, you know, special teams, they're there to hold it down. So that's pretty much what this does. It holds it down. When we're doing the final touch-up on rims, we're using paint gloss. When we do door jams, we're using paint gloss. When we're doing the final wipe downs on vehicles that are already ceramic coated, we're using paint gloss. If the windows are in really good shape and they just need a quick wipe down, paint gloss. Screens in the in the interiors, piano black, paint gloss. So it's one of those ones where you're not having to worry about putting a ton of protection on anything. You're not having to, it's not going to drain the pocketbook. Say if we were using Defender in its place. No residue. Yes, no residue. Mm. Cleans up nice. PNS, paint gloss is it's, it just keeps holding it down, and it's just something, every time I grab it, I know that it's going to perform really, really well. And I've been comparing it to other ones that I've been trying this year, and it's still it's, it's like that staple. It's like the Clean Korea towel. It's not, nothing's coming close to it. So, PNS Paint Gloss, you in it again, 2024. All of our favorite products that we're mentioning, they're all going to be linked in the description below. Number four. Again, this stuff is so good, I made it two years in a row. Yeah. Bio bombs. Two years in a row. That's how good it is. Odor problems is odor eliminator. Man, we use uh they have the they have the bio bomb minis, which you could put it anywhere. You could put it in a in your O and R, you could put it in your distilled water, you could throw them in your steamer. Hell, you could throw these things in your washer if your washer's smelling funky. Yeah. And not to mention they're air fresheners. They got a wide variety of different scents. These things last, what, 90, up to yeah. 90 days? The longevity of those things are insane. We put insane. those things in our house, not, yeah. just, not just for vehicle use. Yeah, they, these are, you know, the, the products that they make are 
for a wide range of use. And if you go to their website, which is in the description below, they have a wide array and variety of different products that you can use for household, for, you know, if you're on mobile jobs, if you're in hospitality, all of those things make a big difference when you're, when you're talking about appealing to senses. So we even have one here in the studio that we have that we're, you know, that we're currently, um, you know, enjoying on a day to day basis that we don't realize, but when clients come over, say, oh man, it smells really good in here. What's going on? We keep them in our, I have one in my bathroom and I have one in my bedroom. Like always, that, that bio bomb stays in there. And it, you forget they're there, but you know they're still working when people come over and they're like, man, it smells so good in here. Now, if you're doing a smoker's car, if you're doing any type of vomit, food <laughs> removal, like spills, like heavy, just nasty stuff, we don't do a lot of that work. But when that work does come our way, oh, we're throwing a bio bombs and we're throwing it in there first. Because what it's going to do is it's going to neutralize and kick everything out. You may have a little bit of, you know, leftover smell from the actual bio bombs, but I would rather have that smell than the actual, you know, what the issue is that we're cleaning. But for the most part, that can even be taken care of if you just grab some distilled water in a water bottle and just spray it in the air and it starts to encapsulate the airborne uh, chlorine dioxide mixture that's you know that's within the bio bombs itself and that will kick out that odor remember when we had to do the odor removal for the z and it was really really yeah, strong yeah, for like yeah, a yeah, week yeah, it yeah. smelled because i put, i left the bio bombs in there overnight because it was that bad um and this was a an extreme cleaning but in that case i would have just hit it with the with the distilled water within you know in the confinements of where the bio bombs was set off and that will encapsulate and grab and neutralize the chlorine dioxide mixture so it's going to uh naturally just kind of dilute it down so it's not going to have that heavy smell if you're going in to the job right after you do the bio bombs you know obviously you want to let air it out follow directions you don't want to get in there right away but i would definitely hit it with that distilled water knock it down a little bit even for your clients some clients like Pops, remember we did his? And he goes, oh, it smells funny in here. I'm like, it smells clean. It smells clean. So for him, we hit it with the, with the, uh, with the distilled water and it knocked it down. And, you know, he was fine with that. But uh, Biobombs, man, they have a lot of products, a lot of good stuff. You'll be seeing more stuff with Biobombs. We're still playing with their stuff. And a lot of people don't realize they're not using the Biobombs to the full potential, man. You got to read those instructions. Read those instructions. <laughs> Man, you guys are sleeping. You guys are sleeping because the applications we use them for, it's insane. We use them. I gave them to our uh, to our trainer for he had his, his dog was sick. Put it in a spray bottle for him. You know, gave him a few tablets. Said, "Yo, take these, shake it up." And we don't use them a lot, but we always have to have them on hand. Let's put it that way because. They're not, they may not be for the everyday type of, you know, detail, but when you need it, this is going to knock it out. Yeah. If you want to leave an impact, you got a first time client you want to make sure that not the car, that not only the car looks clean. Yeah. Yeah. You want to make sure that car is smelling clean. Yeah. Bio it, bombs, way to go. And if you've worked on older cars that have been kind of sitting for a while, you know, they have kind of have like that weird, like stale smell. It's not like a dirty smell. It just smells stale. Like just like the plastics haven't moved in a while. The leather hasn't moved. And the, the things are just, you know, it, it just smells weird. So anyway, that smell is hard to remove. And uh, sometimes you can't get rid of that smell from cleaning. You know, you clean it, you steam it out real good. Unless you're putting some kind of, uh, you know, trim restoration or leather treatment that 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 is kind of masking the odor of that stale smell you're still going to have that stale smell but the bio bombs gets rid of that as well so that's it, it's a true air quality reset when you're going in there with the bio bomb if a vehicle has traded hands if they bought a used car or if they you know they're going to sell their car that's something that needs to be recommended from the get-go bio bombs you did it again Congratulations, 2024s.
Oh, also about bio bombs. You having any issues? You got questions? Reach out to them. Their customer service is great. They're going to let you know, address your issue, get you taken care of. We this next item we picked up uh, maybe about a month and a half ago, two months, and uh, well, when we when we uh, he surprised me. He just he just showed up one day. He said, hey, "Man, I, I got this." Um, but we 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 were finishing uh, um, we were finishing up a car. And it was by Home Depot. Yeah, yeah. Remember that I had to, I had to go inside to get something else, and then I came back out. So uh, you guys don't know we we we've been running with the big boy. I don't I don't know for how long. The big boy. The big boy pro. Big boy blower. Yes, that thing is by far the best. I think as when you, when it comes to blowing, right? Yes, it's the it's the best dryer on the professional market. Like pe people argue with that, oh, the the other one's better. You know, it's, it's uh, the Metro Vac yeah, or yeah. the Metro Blower, what? But for the sake of argument, again, we run with the yeah. big boy, and it gets the big that. boy's better because has a better hose. <laughs> as we're detailing, as we're getting better, we ran into an uh, issue as uh, the big boy was kind of like hindering us as far as uh, operationally, Processor, yeah. uh, operational uh, uh, um, size, uh, the weight. There was like three steps that we had to do yeah. to use. The, the big boy. It was slowing us down. Uh, we, yeah. we, we, we started outperforming the yes. big boy. Yeah. Um, so uh, we, we even had talks about, hey, man, when, when, can we get rid of this? And we're like, ah, not yet. There's some times that we still need it. Yeah. Uh, another factor that we had, uh, we had extra batteries laying around. Extra, and these big boy batteries that cost- Expensive extra, batteries. That cost more, obviously. They're, big, yeah. they're bigger batteries, so. And the big boy's electric, mind you. So there's cords, right? It's, cord, right, it's a corded, right, right, right. it's a corded machine. It's blowing out a lot of air, so it takes a lot of wattage yes. from your generator. And if we're on a mobile site, we're you, like you said, we're, we're we're plugged into the generator. Yes, and it's 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 not a quiet unit. By no means is it like super loud. But when you have that, as well as the generator, the generator. Yeah. So it's like half the volume of a vacuum of your standard vacuum. So you figure you have that noise level, then you have your generator noise level. So uh, after Joao goes to Home Depot, he jumps in the car and he brings out the box. He goes, hey, I got this thing. The Ryobi blower. He's like, hey, we're gonna give it a shot. What we got to lose? If it don't work, we'll just take it back. Well, we hooked it up. And the problem we were having as we're washing the car, like I'm, I'm, sta I'm standing still for about two, three minutes. I was able to jump right in, right into the blowing of the rims, which saved us a mount of a whole. Because one side of the car is completely rinsed, and now when he's doing the other side, the rims and tires are completely completely dry. Yeah. So when he's done rinsing on that side, I go to the other side. So the car is about maybe seventy five percent dry when he comes back and and finish up his process, putting everything away as far as the yeah. the pressure washer, pressure washer hose. So this right here has a lot of power. It's definitely not as strong as the big boy. No. However, this has a little bit less than that one motor. Maybe it's about the same. I don't no, know. No, it's about the same. It, 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 it might be, yeah, it might even be a smidgen above. It's in that range of the one motor. Definitely not in the range of the two motors yes, on the yes, big boy. Yes, um, But again, the price of the big boy is over $400. The price of this was $100. We had the batteries. We have the, the, the big batteries. When we were running with the Ryobi one gallon um, air compressor. I had seen Pan and Josh V kind of talk about this and use it, but they were using it to show examples with, you know, they're, they're talking the tech specs. So they're talking the, the, the CPM, this is that what it's called, CPM or whatever. They're talking all that. And I don't really understand any of that shit. Like, I need to feel it and see what it looks like on the application, you know. And I think they did have a good breakdown, but we're going to break it down like this. If you're trying to dry a whole car, this ain't no. It. Even the big boy, I wouldn't even recommend drying a whole car with the big boy. Unless it's a ceramic coated vehicle and it's a, you know, if it's ceramic coated. Because if it's not, you're, you're wasting a lot of time. We're hitting the grills. We're hitting the trim. We're hitting the wheels. We're hitting the mirrors. We're hitting just those, those those areas of channeling. We're not going in there trying to use it on the whole, yeah. you know, the whole car. That's not that. That's not why we got it. That's not even how we use the big boy. The clean Korea takes care of eighty five percent of the drying faster than the big boy would. So 
we've already got that process down. It's just we needed something that was small, compact, somewhat quiet, and something that was going to take a lot of the steps out of the equation. You figure for the big boy, we're pulling the big boy out. We're pulling the extension cord out. We're pulling, we're unraveling the hose. We're, you know, we're, we're turning, we're, we're leaning over to turn it on. And then from there, the entire car, drying it. Then we're coming back, turning the unit off, and then wrapping the hose back up, undoing the extension cord, putting it away. That's, even when you have that stuff dialed in, and, you know, it, it's, that doesn't take a long time. Even that entire time, you're probably talking about what a four or five minute process from from the time that I from the time I I, I go to uh, to start and plug in the 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 dry, the big boy to when I'm done. It's probably about a five minute process. And to to most people, you're like, well, oh, it's only five minutes. That's quick. It is quick, but not not when we're looking at improvement. Like this could be a lot faster when we know we can make this a lot faster. So that all those steps eliminated, we didn't realize how big of a jump it, it was going to be until we started using it. But how many times, and we're not saying this is going to happen for you guys in your business because everybody's order of operation is different. Everybody does things differently. But how much time would you say this is taken off of each, each vehicle? Five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. So, and we noticed that five minutes within the first two cars that we did. And we still haven't utilized it. Like we, we're still kind of, because when you throw in something that cuts out so much work, you kind of have to rework your, your order of operations. So we're still kind of getting into the hang yeah. of it. Like, where does this fit in? Where do we do this step? But I will tell you this, just the benefit of having it when there's oh, an area that you miss. What we didn't talk about that helped us out is now that when we were able to shut the pressure washer off, I was still going with the big boy. However, we couldn't get the air compressor started. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So yeah. now there's no, there's yeah. no drop. And we're off. running with a 3000 watt generator, guys. So it's not, it's a Honda. So. It's a good, sturdy generator. So we will have to take it off eco mode. Yes. So obviously, so we could get more we, wattage. Yeah. But you're running more fuel. Yeah. 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 So, and it's louder. So you're, 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 you're burning full fuel costs at that point. You're, you're burn. So at this point, you're burning fuel costs. You're louder. You're still taking up more time with the, with the steps of plugging in, unraveling, dry process, and then all of those again. So you're taking up more time. And then if you have to go back, if some spot was missed. That you can only get with that, the dryer. With the, yeah, that you can only get with the dryer. Like, for instance, a grill or deep inside of a wheel or, or the mirrors where they keep channeling. If you forgot to do the mirrors... The, having a dryer is going to be the difference of you being there for an extra two minutes or an extra 20 waiting for that, that stuff to channel out. So being able to grab this post is even great. Even when we're doing the, the weather tech mats to oh, yeah. be able to just yeah. go in there and hit these guys with it. This thing right here, man, is just, it's becoming we, a we beast. Didn't, we didn't talk about the weight that we dropped from the big one. I would probably say that was a, probably a good what, eight nine pounds. Yeah. That that's removed with the with the hose and everything. It's probably closer to eleven, because the hose was also on the cart as well. It's making a big impact on us, and we're using it in multiple ways. And I really like it, man. And for blowing out the studio and 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 stuff where like I use it to blow the leaves. And you know after I've done, <laughs> you know it's it's. So I guess. Probably late to the party because I know some folks are, well, that's why I use my leaf blower. Um, this is smaller than a leaf yes, blower. Yes, and that was what kept us away from the leaf blowers because yeah. the leaf blowers. It's still about this big. Yes. And if you want real power with the leaf blowers, you're going gas and now you're just talking loud, annoying. You know, gas is not cheap right now. So it's just, it's a lot for, you know, to, and it's a big tool.
that you gotta so, keep with you. So I guess right now the only question is is how long this thing gonna last. So we'll let you know. It hit all the criteria as far as strength that we needed it, uh, application that we needed it for as well. We had the battery, so that was already one thing that was less. It was affordable, and it's light and compact. I think light and compact is probably the the biggest uh, reason we got it because obviously there's other battery operated options on the market. We just we, again we just didn't want to have one of those big you know running around and those to be honest like people say oh it's it's just as good as the big boy no it's not no it ain't that ego blower ain't doing shit compared to to the to the big boy i've tried it you know i've tried the best ego blower out there with the stubby nozzle it ain't it ain't it this is gonna be a little bit less than it but this will get the job done oh what i want to say about this if you're running uh a two-man team like, you know, you know what I mean? If you went in a two-man team, especially a three-man team, we tried it this week when we had our three-man team. You talk about opening a whole nother, a whole nother like 10 minutes for that third person. Oh, yeah. Like that third person now does not have to worry about drying the car at all. He's doing some, a, t a totally different task, mm -hmm. a, an extra task. Like he started at five minutes ahead of time. Yeah. When that third person was setting up the blower, that's, that's five minutes open up right there. Right. Right. For what, you know, like set up and breakdown, that, that whole process eliminated. So when we talk about, I don't want to get too much into the operations, but when we talk about eliminating these problems to make efficiencies, that's one example. That's one small example. If you guys are interested, click the link. We got our, you know, we have our consulting line. We have our schooling and training. We're doing store appearances. October 11th, we will be at PNS East Bay running the sales floor, answering questions, giving you tips and tricks, giving you advice on your business, giving you any kind of insight that we have that could help you guys get to the next level or figure out these problems that you're having. We're going to be there. A bunch of other detailers are going to be there. A lot of our friends are going to be there. October 11th, October Steve's going to be 11th. barbecuing hamburgers, hot dogs, hot links, some sodas, water, all that. So it'll be a good time. It'll be a time to network, a time to learn about the products, learn about business, and also experience the widest variety of PNS products that are out there. He has everything. He is a factory storefront, so he has everything. They literally make the products in the building. So all that stuff that you can't get wherever you're at regionally, or if there's, there's stuff that they have there that people call us for to get for them and send out to them because they can't get it where they're at. So these are the products that we use that made a big impact in our business 2024. Let us know if you guys use any of these or, and let us know what your guys' uh, game changers are in your, in, for your 2024. All of these products are gonna be linked in the description below. So that wraps up our best products and tools of 2024. If you guys have any that maybe we have missed, start the conversation. Mm -hmm. Get it in the comments. Let's talk about this because we wanna make our job easier. We wanna make your guys' job easier. Later, man.